Good day, everyone. Welcome to Math for Young Achievers with Merivit Education Center. This series is for Prathom 3. In this topic, you will be able to convert units of volume and capacity. Now, let's learn how to convert one unit into another. Let's take a look at this example. Container A has a capacity of 3 liters. What is the capacity of the container in milliliters? We know that 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. To change liters to milliliters, we simply multiply liter by 1000. Let's see how. Let's convert 3 liters to milliliters. So here, 3 times 1000, that gives us 3000 milliliters. So we can say that the capacity of the container is 3000 milliliters. Now, let's see another example. Container B has a capacity of 2 liters and 160 milliliters. What is the capacity of the container in milliliters? First, let's change 2 liters into milliliters. 2 liters is equal to 2,000 milliliters. The sum of 2,000 and 160 is 2,160. So we can say that the capacity of the container is 2,160 milliliters. 7 liters and 800 milliliters into milliliters. 7 liters multiplied by 1,000 is 7,000 milliliters plus 800 milliliters. So, we can say that 7 liters and 800 milliliters is equal to 7,800 milliliters. Now, let us convert milliliters to liter and milliliter. Let's take a look at this example. Jar A has 2,150 milliliters of water. What is the volume of water in jar A in liters and milliliters? We know that 1,000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. We can rewrite 2,150 milliliters as 2,000 milliliters plus 150 milliliters. 1,000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. So, 2,000 milliliters is equal to 2 liters. So, the volume of water in jar A is 2 liters and 150 milliliters. Next, convert 34,600 milliliters into liters and milliliters. We can rewrite 34,600 milliliters as 34,000 plus 600 milliliters. 34,000 milliliters is equal to 34 liters. So, we can say that 34,600 milliliters is equal to 34 liters and 600 milliliters. Let's take a look at the next example. We can rewrite 4,005 milliliters as 4,000 milliliters plus 5 milliliters. 
Since 4,000 milliliters is equal to 4 liters, we can say that 4,005 milliliters is equal to 4 liters and 5 milliliters. Get ready! Let's practice now! Let's convert the following volumes into milliliters. So there are three items in here. Let's start with number one. One liter and 700 milliliters. The correct answer for number one is 1,700 milliliters. Next, two liters and 50 milliliters. How will you change this one into milliliters? All right, the correct answer is 2,050 milliliters. Next, number three, six liters and 300 milliliters. Let's change this one into milliliters. The correct answer here in number three is 6,300 milliliters. Next, let us convert the following volumes into liters and milliliters. Again, there are three items in here. Let's start with number one. 3,005 milliliters. How will you change this one into liters and milliliters? The correct answer here in number one is 3 liters and 5 milliliters. Number two, 1,050 milliliters. How will it change this one in liters and milliliters? The correct answer here in number two is 1 liter and 50 milliliters. Last number, 5,900 milliliters. All right, 5,900 milliliters is equal to 5 liters and 900 milliliters. Today, we learned about how to convert liters to milliliters and milliliters to liter and milliliter. Before we finish this series, please answer the activities in your book about converting units of volume and capacity. Good luck!